Hi Royals fans, I'm Brady Singer and this is Royals Replay. Brady Singer in just his ninth Major League start. Took a no-hitter into the eighth inning and with two outs, Austin Hedges single to right field. And it's still eight shutout innings for him, allowing just one hit and two walks, and he finished with a strikeout. Hey guys, this is my uh, this is my game from Cleveland earlier last year. This is my uh, one hitter. This is bottom of the second. It's feeling good early in the game. I felt like I was keeping the ball down really well. Um, obviously, I let one I let one go pretty high, but um, no, I felt like through the first through the first inning, I felt like I had my good stuff, but obviously, I had no idea that you know what what tonight was going to bring. And obviously the slider was feeling good too. Yeah, like I said, I've, I just felt really good. Um, you know, getting in on the lefties and going away to the to the uh, to the righties as well. And the slider was ultimately probably the best pitch I had that night. Yeah, th I, this is kind of when I started thinking about the no hitter. Honestly, I think it was the bottom of the third of not on the. Not, I'm not thinking about it on the field. You know, while while I'm pitching, obviously, but in the dugout when I'm looking up and kind of seeing what's going on, I'm definitely thinking about it. You know, the only thing I could do was just keep going. That was a gift from Reyes. That was almost right down the middle. Thank you. Thanks to uh, Gordo. Appreciate that. Lockdown left fielder all year long. Yeah, so this this is actually one of the probably one of the second ones uh, that really scared me. Obviously made good contact, and I saw Ollie go back, and uh, definitely nervous. Yeah, the bottom of the sixth with no hits. Uh, definitely starting to feel it there, but uh, he made an incredible play and got us back in the dugout. Brady Singer has not allowed a hit. We head to the seventh inning of play here at Progressive Field in Cleveland for nothing, KC. He struck out Lindor twice swinging, and there's a. And now you got. You got Lindor at the bottom here, or you got Lindor up, and it says at the bottom here, no hitter through six and a third. That's great. And then Reynolds makes an incredible play. I thought it was over right there for sure. Um, you know, I kind of missed my spot there with Lindor, and obviously put uh, put a lot of wood on it and uh, hammered it. Thank God, uh, thank God, Reynolds was standing right there. You can obviously see me breathing hard. <laughs> Looks like I walked a guy there to get on first base, and when Reyes walked up in the bottom of the seventh, big guy, a lot of power. Um, obviously, was feeling it there, um, but this, this is the time where I'd, I'm at 101 pitches. It's the bottom of the seventh. I knew I knew the you know Mike and Mike and everybody didn't want to keep me out there for a lot of pitches, but obviously I got a no hitter going on, and you know I, I couldn't walk anybody, and I walked that first guy there, and it was. That's when I started feeling it, and then, like I said, Reyes comes up and obviously get him to ground out. Yes, the bottom of the eighth. It's eleven to nothing. The uh, the offense decides to hit balls all day long and keep me in the dugout forever. But uh, I'll take it any day. But um, no, a long inning there, and you know, I obviously knew what was going on, and here we are in the eighth. It's like we got Naquin to fly out on a ball right down the middle to Gordo. No, no one, no one talks to me. That's kind of something that you do when a no hitter is going on. No one, no one speaks to you. No one. Um, Cal actually did an incredible job. He was talking to me about at bats, just kind of going through the game. And, and you know, I feel like if he if he wouldn't have talked to me, I would have obviously have been more nervous, honestly. And, hits a ball into right field. and there's the hit right there. So I'm at 115 pitches. This is definitely the longest I've longest I've gone this year. And um, three two. Uh, 115 pitches. Um, I had a feeling that if I walked him, you know, I was going to get taken out. Obviously, with with that many pitches, but um, 
Right here, I'm trying not to walk him, so I obviously just wanted to throw one, throw one in the strike zone, and as you can see, that's middle middle, and he put a good swing on it, and obviously playing the shift too, so he hit it right through the hole, and Witt charges in, Witt's trying to make a play there, which I love, he tried to get him out at first base. Um, but yeah, it was broken up, you know, not what I wanted, but obviously one of the one of the better starts of my, uh, of my year right there, and I was definitely pleased with it. And Cal's out here talking to me, trying to calm me down, and I knew I just got to get this next guy out. Um, thankfully, they, they left me in there and didn't take me out right away. And um, I probably made three of my best pitches right here at the end of the game. Um, you know, I definitely want to get through the eighth. I didn't, you know, I feel like another hit or another walk, I'm out of the game there. So um, held it together. I think it was a three pitch strike out there. Um, but yeah, that was it. It was a, obviously an incredible night. I enjoyed the heck out of it. Um, hopefully, one time in my career, I can finish the whole thing and um, look forward to you know doing this again.